Hi, this is Jason from PreVeteran. Welcome back to our PreVeteran YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions I get from those transitioning out of the military. The question is, when should I start my military transition? And after watching this video, you'll know the two conditions we recommend you follow in order to begin planning for your own military transition that will lead to more successful outcomes. But before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our LinkedIn company page. The LinkedIn company page link is in the comments below. Let's get started. When I talk to transitioning military members, this one question comes up all the time, so I wanted to make a video about it today. And the question is, when should I get ready for military transition? And what that does is that leads a lot of experts, influencers, and pontificators on social media to begin giving you answers that range from the second you get in the military to just before you get out of the military and everything in between. Interestingly, though, they never tell you why and never give you a rationale. So to completely change that around today, we're going to be very specific about our recommendation for when you should start planning for your military transition. And we're going to give you two conditions that you should follow. And if you do follow, will increase your chances significantly of having a successful post-military career. Okay, are you ready? Condition number one is we think you should start your military transition planning one to three years prior to your anticipated separation or retirement from the military. And condition number two is that you do it after you're over the learning curve of your current job within the military. Let's explain the first one, the one to three years and why it's so important. There's two reasons for that. The first reason is for one to three years in there, you're in really the sweet spot where you're getting close enough to the end of your career that the need for you to figure it out is becoming more and more profound. So that two to three year period allows you time to figure it out, but it's significant enough to where you need to address it now. Closely related to that is reason number two for why to three, one to three years is so important. And as you know, if you follow pre-veteran, we strongly believe in the need for self-transformation. And that one to three years really gives you the time to do that. And the more fuller transformation you can do, the more successful you'll be after the military. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jason, I get it one to three years, but I am so busy. And that's where the second part, the second condition of being over the learning curve in your job becomes so important. What we mean by the learning curve is once you're in your job and you're proficient at your job, after that time period, you have more time by definition. So many of you probably maybe help with your little kids' baseball games, you help with their football games, you do Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, you do all these different things because you have a little bit of extra time. We're simply asking you to think of your military transition planning in, in those terms, as in professional development or extracurricular activities that you feel are a value add to your life. And if you find it challenging to think through what the learning curve is, here's a simple graphic for you to make it a little bit easier. As you can see on the left side of the graphic is a high learning curve. The learning curve part reflects the fact that this might be a new task or a new job, and it requires a lot of time, energy, and effort resources in order to become proficient at it. But you could also see on the right side of the graph now, that time, effort, and resource it becomes a lot less because you've become proficient at that task or at that job, which means by definition you do now have time to do things that become more along the lines of extracurricular activities or professional development. So to sum things up, we'd like you or we recommend you to begin your military transition planning one to three years prior to your separation or retirement from the military and after you're over the learning curve of your job. If you have those two things in place, you, that is the best time for you to begin your military transition planning. Okay, now that you know the when, how about the what? Data shows that 90% of you are going to become employees. Data also shows that 60 to 70% of you in the 90% are going to become private sector employees. And we have just the thing for you if you feel like you're spinning your wheels or don't know where to start for employment preparation. We have our employment prep course on the website right now. You can navigate there by going to the Pre-Veteran website and clicking on the course menu at the top of the website. And then there you can enroll in the program or get on the wait list. If you'd like to know more about Pre-Veteran in general, we invite you to just kind of scour the website. Also go to our watch section or our news and press section 
And there you'll see our weekly content that's different than everybody else's. And it'll really show how we stand out and how we think differently about military transition and are always looking out for your best interests. Well, that's it. Thank you for tuning in for this week's video. We'll see you next week with our new video.